What was that? Level 23, what the hell? <sighs> hey guys, welcome back. So today, the top thing on the agenda is going to be to tame a dino. Now I've been doing some off-camera work to get prepared for this, but while doing that, a level 23 raptor decided to visit my camp and sort of spoiled my plans just just a tad so what i've done is i've looked around a little bit i do want to still tame a dino in this episode i'm probably looking at one of those i can't remember the name of it but it kind of looks like a big boar um, slash hippo and they, i know they make great pack animals and they're also not aggressive so the best the, the hardest thing is going to be to chase it down uh, because as soon as we touch it it's going to go running for the hills so we've got a slingshot uh, which I've recently made, and plenty of berries, I believe, for the job. So um, as soon as I see one, we're going to try that. Now, of course, I'm going to wait for the daylight. I don't want to try to do that at night. I'm just running up the coast right now, and I am looking to scout out a new location to to build a place to settle for now, because I think the place we're in isn't too bad, but there's just a couple of high-level dinosaurs that keep roaming through there and it's just making it too difficult to really settle in so uh, I know there's a couple of what they call safe spots then there's no real safe spot on the island and there's one up north here I'm gonna try to scout out and, and see how it looks so for now I am just trying to stay out of trouble until the Sun comes up and I'm also hoping to come across one of those animals that we want to tame. We did level up, so the engram we need for the saddle should be available. Man, these uh, some of these dinos have some real digestive problems. Oof. I know we saw a couple up here scouting around. Dino poop. Should be a little safer in this area than uh, over in the forest where we saw a bunch of them walking around with the Dilo hordes. I probably could use some hides, but I'm afraid to let my guard down right at the moment. I mean, that uh, raptor just walked up to the uh, camp on the other side of the boulder near the camp, and I came around the corner and he just pounced on me. I, I mean, I hit him three or four times, but I'm not sure I did it much damage at all, and then he just ran around the, the beach attacking anything in sight. So, looks like the light's starting peak here. Are those the dodos having digestive problems now? <laughs> Holy... His, his crap is as big as he is. <laughs> Come on, son. Let's see. That's not too bad. We can see enough to hunt dodos. I could use some hides. Oh yeah. What you gonna do? That's why dodos are extinct. Come over here. There we go. Winner winner, chicken dinner. And there was at least one more. There he is. Her. Let's see. Female. I noticed he tend to say 
key a lot with the like the Carno and the Dodo's attendant calling she's a lot. Alright, so now that it's getting a little bit light, we have to keep our eyes open. Oh shoot. What the heck is that? That's definitely a big dinosaur. It's not friendly. Now that looks like a Tyrannosaurus. If you look at the profile around the eyes, it's not like the Carno that had the little ridges above the eyes. I kept I kept saying that it looked like a, a T-Rex, but then I realized afterwards that um, the head was all wrong. Oh yeah, look at that. I wish we could kind of tell from here what it is. You have to get up pretty close to see the name, though. Ah, uh, I don't want to walk by that thing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even um, begin to uh, go near a level one T-Rex, never mind what this probably is. Look at that thing. I want to watch it, I just don't want him to see us. Alright, go into the forest. Did he knock the tree down? Oh, I didn't realize that that was a thing, that he's so big he can just knock the trees down. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, so when the time comes, I may, t uh, I may try going, skirting around this guy if he's going to stay there. far are we? Ah, uh, not that far. It's over here. So now this particular episode, I am going to tame a dinosaur. One way or the other. So even if I have to cut out some footage and rework things a bit, uh, I'm going to find a way. I'm not doing another episode without a tame dinosaur. It's it, it's the whole point of the game. And with the uh, Carno problem there, with him terrorizing the beach and then me scouting around and finding all the dilos <laughs> at once did not help things at all and if you if you probably could tell in the last episode or two I was pretty tired and, and what had happened is I um, my uh, my job keeps changing my shifts um, I have to keep covering second and third shift a lot so when I get home I can't always get to sleep so I really look forward to oh, did he yeah, um, so I can't uh, always get to sleep, so I, I kind of look forward to playing when I when I get home. And I hadn't been able to touch this game in a while, so I risked playing, even though I was kind of tired. And um, it's probably why I made some bad choices. So I was still having fun. I just I think I sounded exhausted when I went back and edited it later. I was just like, wow, I could I could just hear that in my voice and and. Um, Somebody actually commented that uh, I sounded tired that day, so uh, I didn't realize how bad it was until I actually listened to myself. I don't think I felt, I didn't think I felt that tired, but I, I sounded it. <laughs> so... 
Just heading back south a little bit closer to our camp. And again, I'm keeping an eye out specifically for that type of dinosaur. Now the, um, we have a saddle for the Parasaur, but there's no way at this level we're going to be able to do a Parasaur because they, they just run too fast. We'd have to get one cornered to be able to do it. I mean, once you get them knocked out, and if you have enough berries, it shouldn't be a problem, but uh, they take a little bit longer, I think. Um, for some reason, I think I heard they take up to... Was it 40? No, oh, no, the trikes take 45 minutes. So they, they probably still take a while. They probably still take somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. If we get lucky and we can box one in, maybe. Uh, but they run really quick. That's why they'd make such a great mount. I mean, can you imagine running around and, you know, you run into a uh, T-Rex and you just let him eat your dust? That would be kind of cool. <laughs> and they must be able to take a few hits. I mean, I've seen... Uh, I think that the Carno went after one one of those times and uh, it held its own for a little while. So now we're close to our base and the Raptor is probably still around here somewhere. These things don't tend to despawn all that often so when you see one of those guys, they tend to they tend to hang around. Last I saw, he was right in the edge of the forest, going after the turtles and chasing after the uh, pterodons. So, um, what was happening is, I think he's right there. The pterodons were running around. What well, was a pterodon? Um, and he was following the pterodon, so wherever they were leading him was where was where he was going. So I wasn't sure if they were going to lead him away or right into the, my into my base. But like I said, last time I saw him, he was he was up this way. Well, maybe maybe he's been following stuff around and he finally moved on. That'd be pretty nice. So I think. We're gonna keep looking. Uh, now I'm gonna, I'm going to put this way. I'm gonna harvest as we go because you can see the berries keep going bad, and we're gonna have to keep replenishing them as much as we can. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to level up, and we need to actually make a saddle. I can't wait till we get one of these. Honestly, I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's just take one more quick look around. I want to make sure that Raptor doesn't show up next to us again. Okay, so... What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, jeez. Yeah. I'm a little jumpy. Okay, so... We need to spend a point on something. Did fortitude a few times. I don't care about crafting speed so much. And movement, you know, that's what we're going to get a mount for. Um, melee damage, I boosted up once. Weight. Eh, you know, if we have a pack animal, that shouldn't be a big deal. So I think health and stamina are probably going to still be the big ones. So I think I'm going to go with health this time. Now, as far as saddles go. Equip a Fiumia with this to ride. Spark powder. Blood extraction. Okay, I don't think we care about that too much just yet. Uh, narcotic consumes. I, I assume that's to make the darts to um, knock out the uh, 
knock out the dinosaurs that we're trying to tame. Because I know at some point it said that just giving them berries, or it's better with Carnos to give them the, the narcotic rather than the berries. Somewhere I read that. Uh, flag we don't really need because we're on a single player map right now. Standing torch would be kind of nice, but that's not quite the priority yet until we get a place we're going to stay for a little longer. Now, pipes. I don't think we care about too much. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, I live on a main road, as you can probably hear. Um, yeah, so if I'm not... Ugh, it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> Every time I go to talk, somebody's going to come by and rev their engine. Okay, compass. Use this to find the direction you're traveling. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, this instrument, while primitive... Spyglass. That I would love to have, actually. I would love to have a spyglass. Uh, crop plot. We'll worry more about planting when we actually find a place we're going to stay for a bit. So I think the saddle, and I, I'm, I'm thinking the the piomia. That must be what we're what we're aiming to get the 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 pack animal. So I want to learn that. I may regret this. And what's that leave us with? Eight points. I really want that spyglass. Oh my goodness, I want that so bad. I just don't know if that's the best choice. Um, we still need a door and a door frame. So the wall... cost three. And the door cost three. And the roof cost three. And I guess that would only be protection against the smaller animals. Uh, obviously, we saw the T-Rex was just knocking trees down, so I, I don't think it'll have any problem knocking walls down. And I imagine the Carno is big enough to knock walls down, too, if, if we run into another one of those. So, I think... I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to save the points. We, we can always do this a little later. Now, let's see what it takes to build that saddle. Where is my saddle? Okay, so we need hides. We need two more hides. We actually have quite a bit from, probably from beating up on the the dodos earlier. I gotta remember, they were, they're pretty plentiful. So we need to take time to kind of harvest hides whenever we get a chance. Especially now that uh, after this, we're gonna be looking at Better, um, better clothing, something with a little protection eventually, and saddles and things like that. So it's usually dodos just about anywhere. I'm just going to walk up the beach a little bit and look for a couple of them. This is not the easiest survival game I've ever played. And I will tell you that it's kind of nice in a sense because most of the games get really easy and routine after a while. And I haven't felt that way yet with this. I, I actually feel challenged by it. And I always feel like something can happen. Which is good. Um, we have died a couple of times, which that just means that we're playing the game, we're surviving, or we're not surviving, you know, we're learning. And uh, it's not like Minecraft or some of those games where you just, you know, you learn it so well that uh, the challenge just isn't there unless you mod it heavily. Now, of course, if we're on a multiplayer server and we were, say, playing with friends, they'd probably already have some things uh, built up, a base and things like that, make it a little easier to start. Or if you're on a uh, purely... A PvP server, um, you'd spawn in and every jerk butt in the world would just walk up to you and uh, take your stuff over and over and over again from what I've seen. So, um, 
I'm not really into that too much. But this guy's going down. <laughs> 